when you buy a Wi-Fi camera from us, um, most devices will have a pre-fitted SD card. Uh, you won't actually be able to physically access the card, but you can access it via the app. So to first of all, set up the recording, so it's recording when you wish. Uh, first click on the cog to the right of the device. The device needs to be online for these uh, settings to be able to be set. Once you're in the settings, uh, if you go to SD card settings first. Now this one is set to auto record, which means it will just record continuously in five minute uh, segments. So, but it will just keep recording regardless of whether anything's happening or not. Now you can leave it like this if you wish. Uh, me personally, I think I'll just create a lot of recordings where nothing's happening. It'll fill up the space faster and there'll be a lot to review. Uh, it makes it easier in my opinion if you just turn off the auto record but turn on alarm record instead now alarm doesn't actually make any noise it just means trigger so instead of it just recording all the time it's looking for a trigger which will set up in a minute uh, you've got recording resolution you might as well leave it at HD uh, you've got record audio which you can turn on if you want it to capture record uh, if you capture the audio or you can leave it off if you wish um, a loop recording means that it once it's uh, filled the SD card up um, if it's switched off then recording will, will stop if you switch it on it means it will record over the oldest footage first so it just carries on in a loop so you can set the duration uh, maximum is 30 minutes me personally I think that would be too long after let's say someone walks simply walks past the camera it will record for 30 minutes uh, I'll personally leave it on at 5, I'll show you why in a minute, because we can set it to trigger every 5 minutes, so if someone does carry on moving in front, uh, it can record the next file. Um, so if we go back, so we told it to record on an alarm, we now have to set what that alarm is, so at the top there where it says alarm config, click on this, and you can either set up a time schedule, so it records in between certain times of the day, or you can set up motion detection so this is my preferred method so if anyone walks in front of the camera it'll start recording if nothing happens then it shouldn't record anything so we set it medium because then we can either go up or down depending on if it misses stuff or captures too much you can alter the settings and the alarm interval well we know it's going to record for five minutes which is 300 seconds so if you put that in, that means after it's recording, if someone's still moving, it will start the next recording. So when you see then, just press OK. And the device will now record whenever it sees motion and stop when there is no motion. So to, uh, to actually review the footage, if you have a look at the bottom of this page, which says Cloud SD, you click on this. And at the top there, which says SD Files, What it do it generate a list now of all the files recorded uh, and if you click on one of them you can either delete it play it or download it onto your phone as i said before if you um it, it will record in a loop so if you find something you did want to record uh, sorry if you did want to keep you should download it because if you don't download it after a certain amount of time it will get recorded back over um if you wanted to remove all the files, you can go back to the SD. If you can go back to your SD card settings, you see that there is a format SD card button at the bottom. However, most of the time you just wait, let the device carry on recording, and as long as you've got loop recording on, it will record over the oldest footage. So you can either watch it live, uh, as in, sorry, you know, watch it uh, by streaming it across the app, or download it if you wish to keep it.